guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Tokyo Xanadu. Last time, we actually started um, exploring, and we did two dungeons, was it? Yeah, two dungeons. A random dungeon, and we helped, here's our camera with something they were having a problem they were having to progress a little bit the story but now before actually progressing the story we are going to go everywhere do all the quests and get all those affinity events started which are five for today on our free time and lastly i think we're going to end up in ko's room so let's get started we got a lot to tackle on today let's go all right first thing we're doing is this one over here oh Togisaka, president of the XRZ. You saw our post on NAR, right? Well, first things first. Aren't you two from the Film Studies Club? Bingo. I'm the Film Studies Club president and esteemed director, Kosaku. And this here is my invaluable assistant extraordinaire. Hi, I'm Minoru, uh, first year. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. So, Will you be my Clark Gable? Um, why don't you just tell me the details first? And who did you mean by my friends? Why the other members of your newly formed XRC? I just penned a new script that resolves around school. Oh, great, no. And when I saw our group together, I thought, that's it. Those are my characters come to life. So I just had to ask you guys to join. So, Tokisaka, will you help us? I know this might be the first for you, but we'd be there directing you every step of the way. Mm, well... Be a star. Since it seems to mean a lot to you guys, I'm willing to give it a go. But I'll need to ask the other members first. Ah, great! Fantastic! Ask away! It'll take me a while to ask everyone, though. You want me to just you want to just meet up in, at the XRC club room? <laughs> you guys are godsend. Yes, a thousand times yes. What do we get in ourselves into? Oh boy. Alright. I gather the XRC members and Shiori together to take part in a movie. Why Shiori? What? Why does Shiori have to go? Why do his friends have to mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the film club would like to thank you all for coming here today. Seeing all you shiny faces as we stand on the cusp of greatness fills you with indescribable joy. Do you think you're getting a little ahead of yourself? Indeed, we haven't even started yet. Hmm, that's a lot of people here. <laughs> so this is the XRC club room, huh? Man, he gets to hang out with the lead actress after school every day. Ryota, curse you, Ko! Ryota, shut up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you people crack me up. <clears throat> so, what kind of movie is this? Ah, yes, of course. Please have a look at the materials on the desk. The general story is casting list he th are there. And casting lists are there. Okay. Everyone had a look at the materials. Mm. Ryota? Morimiya Academy. Oh, it's a fictional school based on Morimiya High School. What? It's a teen drama about the Culture Festival Committee overcoming impossible odds. Hmm. It's got some realism in it, I see. Ah, be still my heart. You noticed. <laughs> Any sure he would. She's a total bookworm. But the casting. What did. Yes! Ryota? <laughs> Sorry, Ko. Looks like it's my time to shine. Oh, he's the main actor. <laughs> Are you as the protagonist? That's different. Oh boy. The club president thought long and hard about it before choosing Ibuki. 
Yes, indeed. And I thought to myself, Mr. Ari needs a relatable man. A simple man with a killless face. <laughs> There's some other stuff I'm wondering about. Yes. <laughs> this script uses archetypes as well as some rather accurate personality traits. That's very good. Oh, brother. This all sounds like trouble. <laughs> what are you worried about? You're just playing yourself. Yeah. What? I am not like this at all. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to start today by filming three scenes. Also enlisted the help of a few extra bit besides yourself, so let's get this show on the road. Alright, first up, memorize your lines. Okay, here we go. Read the script and try to desperately to remember our parts. We broke off into teams of two to practice our lines and figure out the nons. Nuance. Ugh, man, being a star sure is nerve wracking. You don't seem bothered at all. <laughs> yeah, well, my lines are pretty simple. Anyway, let's take a look at your part, Ryota. Yeah, thanks. So the part to note in scene one is your delivery. Now, let me see. Boldly and with power. Mm, I see. Let's do this. Boldly and with power. For scene two, with sadness. So I have to say it sadly. Got it. Interesting. Looks like you have to convey some complicated emotions. Yeah. Last part of scene three is acting out when facing adversity. While well, giving a little sigh. It has to be nonchalant while also showing a bit of frustration. Okay, let me give it a try. I love acting, like reading some lines and becoming that character. Oh, it's so nice, man. I'm telling you. So nice. We continued rehearsing for a time, then filming began. All right, let's get this show on the road. Bold, sad, and small sigh. All acting out. The setting is the prestigious prep school, Marumi Academy. Childhood friends, Ryohei and Kochi, had visited the school's culture festival in the past and were separated that day by the crowd. Lost and overwhelmed, they were reunited by a culture festival committee member who then showed them around. Moved by the act of kindness, the two friends vowed to enter the academy and elevate the culture festival to even greater heights. Time passed by and, ad and as promised, both enrolled in school and became culture festival members, thus fulfilling their childhood promise. But one day... What's this? An announcement from the student council? Let's see... Due to excruciating circumstances impacting their curriculum, the culture festival for this year has been cancelled? What? No, I have a glass. The culture festival is off? I can't believe it. Her name is Saori, not Shiori now. Kochi. <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen. I heard about the incident with the students from other schools vandalizing the grounds, right? It took an entire week to clean that up, and school was out because of it. But we're the executive committee. How come we didn't hear about this? There has to be some mistake. Ashima says that the next one will be the last. What does that mean? Be bold. The line is bold, the first one, right? Talk will get us nowhere. The student council room. Follow me! And cut! Wonderful! To see everyone put the... Such efforts makes my heart burst into bloody pieces! Last night was especially great, Ibuki. You're my Marilyn Monroe! Oh god. <laughs> Thanks, I think. That's a compliment. I was nervous, but I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, good job, Marilyn. <laughs> Leave it to freaking Ko. Ryo and the others headed to the student council room to confront President Miki. <laughs> okay. Their path, however, was blocked by Vice President Junji. Junji? From the 
Captain of the boxing team, Toshio. Okay. Barred from the president, they were coldly dismissed and told there was nothing more to discuss. Oh. Unlike you people, Miss Miki has better things to do. If you refuse to accept it and persist in trying to bother her, I'll have to beat some sense into you. Bring it on! Stop, Rio! I don't think he's kidding. <clears throat> the three were reluctantly made to turn back. When suddenly the head of dis the head discipline monitor, Shizuka, and head and vice head Yukihiro appeared. Yuki and who else? Oh, Asuka. Oh, Yuki! Okay, without glasses! Look at you go, boy! I understand how you feel, but the count the student council holds all the power at this school. <laughs> the student council president Miki, the chairman's daughter after all. Now you stand a chance. Exactly. That is why I don't want you to waste your time. Now that you get it, just focus on your studies like good little students. <laughs> I kind of invented a line, but let's roll with it. Man, those guys were annoying. But they weren't wrong. Koichi? Maybe you haven't given up, but I don't have time in me. I don't have it in me to keep going. That's why, as of today, I quit the Culture Festival Committee. Come on, Koichi. The next line is, um, how was I supposed to say it again? Sad? Oh yeah, sad. Sorrow sorrowful, not angrily. Why? Don't you care about our promise? We were kids. It was meaningless. Goodbye. And off he goes. But why? And cut! <laughs> the passion is almost palpable. I want to bathe in the artistic glow. Let's keep up this energy in this next scene. Okay. Ryohei and Sori start a petition to bring back the culture festival. At first, they collected many signatures, but their initial success quickly faded as people suddenly started ignoring them. Oh. Damn it! Why won't anyone listen? Ryo, you know, could this be? Who are you? Um. Oh, have you come to lend us a hand? Uh, no, that's not it. I actually came to retract my signature. Again? What the heck is going on? Can you at least tell us why? Were you threatened? N no reason. I'm, um, going to be late for class. Gotta go. And off that student goes. Okay, my reaction here is crucial. What should I do next? It was angry with a small sigh. Yep, small sigh. Damn it all. How did it turn out like this? Well. I'm sure they'll understand the futility of it now and grow up. Yes. They don't have any choice. God, you look so mean and tough. Our sweet little our sweet little mint muffin looks so mean. It's all thanks to you, Toshio. Your influence was instrumental to our success. Hmm. Anyway, good work. Let's go, Junji. Yes, Miss Miki? I don't know why I did that voice for him. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? What's wrong? Did something happen? It's nothing. And cut! Fabulous! Perfection! Great! And that's a wrap. We finished filming all the scenes that were planned. Let's head back to the club room for now. Okay.
boom, bakata, tuku, tuku, ba. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Uh, ADHD is such a great thing, right? <laughs> Bravo, everyone. Well done. I knew I could count on you guys. I'm glad you liked it, but being the lead actor seriously made me sweat. But you did great, Ryota. Yeah, I'm glad we went over your lines. Yes, it was marvelous acting. Anyway, my sincere thank for today. We really appreciate you guys helping out. And by the way, are you filming the second half another day? Yes, that's a plan. Ooh, okay. Thanks. I, I really want to see how this ends. After today's filming, we discovered that we need to make a few changes to the second half. Oh, okay. At least the first half as it is, though. I think it's fine that the way it is. <laughs> it does need a few rewrites, but thanks to you guys, I'm positive it'll be great in the end. I'm not sure exactly when that will be. I'd like to ask you for your help again when the script is ready. Okay. Hmm. Might as well see it through to the end. <laughs> I can't wait to see it all turn out. I'd like to request some re-rise to the personality of Yuki Hiro. <laughs> but you're already perfect for the role, Yuki. <laughs> Aww! That's exactly what I don't like about it. <laughs> I'm glad everyone had fun. Yes, truly! It was the best. Well, everyone, thank you very much. Okay, completed our first quest. Lights, camera, action! 600 gems, okay. Virtue increased, wisdom increased. Intelligent, I am now intelligent finally. I am not dumb dumb, I am intelligent. And friend page updated. All right, on to the next quest. All right, the second quest, it's right here at school as well. Uh, the teacher. <laughs> Hello, Tokisaka. Did you see my post on an AR? Yes, you said you found some some kind of weird liquid. That's right. I need to acquire some more to conduct an experiment. Will you hear me out? Yes. <laughs> good. Very good. So this is the liquid I'm after. Mr. Mato showed me a small bottle that contained a luminous crimson substance. That's a very bright color. You found this at a at the chem lab. Yes. I discovered it during the gas incident in the city. Oh. Oh. I was checking for the equipment damage when I saw an unfamiliar fluid in a medicine bottle. That would be this red liquid. An empty medicine bottle? Oh, I put it there though. Well, considering how secure the lab is, it's hard to imagine that this is just some sort of prank. The little bottle was open though, so perhaps some strange phenomenon occurred. Regardless of how it came to be there, the question is the liquid itself. It appears to be flammable. However, it had produced no gases, it burns cleanly. Meaning... In chemistry, we follow the law of conservation of mass. But it seems that this substance does not follow that rule. Therefore, this matter is not of our world. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. it. Must be something from the eclipse. I bet it ended up here when the school got sucked in. Didn't a machine like great at Akros Tower drip something like it? What? Hmm? Do you have an idea what it is? Well, I think I may have seen it before. Oh, how wonderful! If you're able to collect some, please come see me. All I need is enough to fill up a single bottle like this one. Should I be giving clip stuff to a teacher? It does help me a lot in class, I guess. All right, well, let me go see if I can find any. Bizarre liquid gathering. I don't have on me any? I think this is a strange liquid Mr. Mentor showed me. Okay, yes, I do. Should I give it to him? Crimson oil, okay. Hey, Mr. Mato, is this what you were looking for? Yep. This color, this viscosity, there's no doubt about it. It's the same liquid. <laughs> I can't believe it. You really found it. Where did you find some? I can't tell him I got from a trippy otherworldly portal. Um, it, uh, it seems something similar 
Happened in the XRC club room. It was creepy, but our club saw all about mysterious stuff, so we kept it. Oh, I see. That's all we have, though, so use it wisely. <laughs> then I better take good care of it. An XRC. That's the club that you started recently, yes. I heard about its interest in mysterious stuff. <laughs> I can't wait to hear about more of your discoveries. Mr. Mateau, aka the Mad Scientist. We're to laugh aside, he's actually a really good teacher. Anyway, you have my thanks. Please accept this energy drink as a token of appreciation for furthering the cause of science. Glorious Omega! Oh my god. <laughs> thanks. Really, thank you. Bizarre liquid gathering. 600 gem. We're getting a lot. Virtue increased. Alright, on to the next. Alright, this is the next quest. Let's see what this has. Now, are you Sora... Sora Yama that posted on NAR? Yeah, I'm um, that Sora Maya. Sora Yama. <clears throat> well, somewhat curt. I have a feeling you're actually a nice person. Oh, damn. Dude has no chill, even with strangers. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Uh, forgive me. <laughs> That's alright. He doesn't seem like a bad person. And do you have any time to spare right now? As I posted on NAR, this has something to do with my child. Hear him out. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Well, let's get started then. It's about my child. My child? is an 8th grader named Tsubasa. Tsubasa. Ever since entering middle school, Tsubasa has been skipping a lot of- uh, skipping class a lot. And starting last week, they stopped going to school completely. Stopped going to school? Uh, any idea why? Well, I spoke with Tsubasa's homeroom teacher, but they didn't see anything particular out of the ordinary. But I think it has something to do with what happened two years ago. You see, my wife, my mother passed away, then that's the only thing I can think of. Your wife? <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's because of illness. She seemed fine until the day she passed away. We were a happy family until then. But after my wife passed away, we both became very depressed. We tried to work through it together, but once adolescence hit, started, Tsubasa started pulling away from me. But I have to admit, I began to focus more on work to the detriment of everything else. Because of my work, I spend less and less time at home. We barely even talk anymore. So you think his refusal to go to school has to do with that? I'm ashamed to admit that I don't really know. I know how pathetic this must seem, me asking for help from strangers on NAR. I see. I think I understand what's happening. Still no real clue as to the reason, so we'll have to talk with his son when we can. By the way, where does Tsubasa usually go during the day? Tsubasa usually spends time at the arcade in Horaicho. I figured, I'm a kid. That place isn't exactly safe, so I'm doubly worried. You're right. I'm no school kid hanging around the arcade. I think I've seen him before. Yes, I have. Well, I'll go find him and try to talk to him first. I'm happy that you were... I want to respond. Thank you for coming. Uh-oh. I have to get trained and return to the office. You're going back to work? Yes, it may not look like it, but I have a number of responsibilities I have to take care of. Please, contact me in NAR, should there be any developments. Got it. Take care. You're not even gonna go f with your kid? You know, this is the problem. Middle schooler is a single, in a single parent home. Let's head to the arcade to Horaicho for now. Alright, let's go. Oh, there he is. The kid that hangs out in there, at the game center. Must be him. Hey, are you Tsubasa? What's it to you? Oh man sent you here to lecture me or something? How did you- <laughs> I was on NAR, duh. I some random stranger to deal with this kid. Just what I expect from a deadbeat of a dad. It's not that black and white, you know. He really does have his reasons. Whatever, I don't need to talk to you or anyone. But, if you can beat me at my own game, listen a little. Your game? 
Metal games? You mean, what kind of numbers are we talking about? Mm, well, first one to a thousand metal wins. I think you stand a chance though. Sounds fun. Alright, I'm in. Seriously? Well, whatever. Tell you what, if you win, I'll go back to school. And then you'll get a nice fat reward from dad, right? Nope, I'm careless about that. Huh? I just want to know why you stopped going to school. Does that sound fair? I don't know what your deal is or what you get out of this, but you sure are nosy. Fine. If you win, you leave me alone. If I win, you leave me alone though. Got it? Got it. Okay, now let's see how many medals we each have right now then. Alright, let's do it. Additional 1,000 medals. Must be one to complete the quest. With an additional 1,000 medals have been collected, go talk to Spasa. I mean, we have an easy method, just exchange the medals, so that's what we're gonna do. Alright, and we exchanged the medals, so let's talk. Easy. J just a second. You got a thousand medals already? What the heck? You don't like you can ever win ten. Mm. Yeah, probably kid. Anyway, I win. That's probably just tell me why you stopped going to school. Because it's boring. That's it. I. Fine. I did promise. <sighs> if I'm honest, just give my old man a hard time. Why would you want to do that? Did he do something to you? Huh, <laughs> just the opposite. He did nothing. Does nothing. He practically ignores me. Ever since mom died, he just spends time at work. It's like I'm invisible or something. His dad said he started focusing on work more because the kid pushed him away. So it's just a misunderstanding? Then why would he post on NAR then? I talked with him, you know. He's really worried about you. No way, I'm just putting up a front. Many things are a mistake. Makes a lot of money, you know. But you could get remarried real easy if I wasn't around. Don't say that, kid, what? There's no love like a father's, they say. Huh? It's true that your dad is busy at work a lot. His job is probably right in the middle of Tokyo, right? But he comes back to Morimiya, which is in the suburbs. Round trip. That's at least an extra hour on top of an already busy schedule. That's... I have a couple of part-time jobs myself, so I can tell you this much. Your dad's in a position of responsibility. There's no way he's got a ton of free time or anything. It's true that he put in a request on NAR, but what do you think that is? It was for you, your sake. You still think he doesn't care? Uh... I know it's tough being on your own so much. It's lonely and frustrating. But your dad has a lot on his plate, and he is trying to make up for it in his own way. As a man, can't you be a little bit more forgiving? Uh, why you? Whatever, I get what you're saying. I do. Where is he? Even now I'm getting a secondhand treatment. Why didn't he come and say that? Why doesn't he come and talk to me face to face if he cares so much? That's... You're right, Tsubasa. If I have something to say, I should look you in the eye and say it. He came? Huh? That voice. Yeah, he did. What are you doing here? What about work? I called and told them I'd be leaving early. I'm obviously quite surprised right now, but that's beside the point. Th won't that screw things up for you? Maybe, but it's more important to me not to not screw things up with you. Uh, <clears throat> Why bother anyway? It's not like you cared before. It might be too late, but I'd like you to hear me out. After your mom, I was scared that you hate me, so I pushed you away. I never expected that it would actually make things worse. I haven't been very good at showing it, but I do love you more than anyone else in the world. You don't mean that. Let's go home, Subasa. We'll talk more about it. Um, I know. I know we cook dinner together, just like old times. 
No, wait. You suck at cooking, Dad. Uh, if you're gonna be home for dinner, I'll cook. Tsubasa. <laughs> Seems like they'll be able to work things out. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. But because of you, I got to hear Tsubasa's real feelings on it all. So thanks. Really. Nah, I didn't do anything. In the end, you got on the train and came here yourself, didn't you? Yeah. After I made the posting, I thought about it, and it just felt wrong. I was about to lose any hope of a good relationship of my own. My only... Ah, uh, What? Only daughter? Tsubasa's a daughter? That's why, well, I'll just have to make up for we've lost time, to, won't I? Is that a typo or? <laughs> That's the spirit. Wait, daughter? As a man, that's why. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with that? Er, uh, um, no, not at all. Oh, I completely mistook her for a boy. Oops, I did too. I am so sorry. Hmm. <laughs> well, get going now. Thanks again for your help today. I was like, was that a mistranslation or uh, did I just get trolled? I got trolled. So bosses day off. Mori Mie watch from Soriyama is a thanks. And 600 gems. Thank you. And virtue increased like always. All right. All right. Now, let's start Karen's quest. Ko, do you have a minute? I want to ask you something. You're out. Yeah, sure. What's up? It's like something's troubling you. Oh, how did you know? Are you a psychic or a mind reader? Nah, your expression is easy enough to read. And you're hoping for a divine intervention with that Emma charm, right? Yeah. Well, you see, I lost something important. My daddy made me a plated strap before he passed away. A keepsake from your dad? I think I remember seeing it. You used it on your siphon strap, right? Yes, I always kept it with me, but I might have dropped it while visiting a ceramic shop in the shopping street. The pottery place? That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I just adore traditional Japanese crafts. Anyway, I went back to the store to see if they found it, but they said they hadn't seen it. My mom told me not to worry about it and that it wasn't a big deal, but I can't just give up on it. Oh, that's what we saw the scene with, um... Karen and her mom the other day at the mall at the start of the chapter. Okay. Well, I saw it. I cut it out because it was nothing important. It was just this conversation. All right. I'll help you try to track it down. Really? I can't leave a friend hanging after all. If I find it, I'll let you know. You keep looking on your end, okay? Thanks, Ko. Thank you, Ko. Please do. Yeah, leave it to me. There are a few eclipses in the shopping street area. Maybe it's into that temple. Mayu got sucked into. Okay, I should check it in there, just in case. Alright, let's go do that. I'll show you guys when I get to the... Uh, to the... Temple. Well, to the place I get the charm. Alright. <laughs> I can't talk. What the heck, already? It's holding it in, in its mouth. It looks like, this, like a side phone strap. It has to be carrots. Oh, never mind. It's running away. Everyone after it. Okay, we're going deeper, I guess. The grief flood into the deepest part of the Ah, of course. Your mission is to clear the stage and reach the goal. Alright, I'll see you guys when I clear it. Jeez. Alright, show me where that stupid thing is. There it is. I'm mistaking it. That's the memento Karen got from her father. I need to get it back. I'm gonna need everyone's help. No, you don't. This is easy. You can count on me. This is easy. I'll just do this. And this should be able to finish it. If not, I'll just do it again. Might as well. Just to make the combo larger. And done. That was easy. Memento strap? 
got it back. There's probably a, hun a bunch of strong feelings attached to it. See what agreed would be drawn to it. Yes, that's probably right. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad we got it back. You should get this is to your classmate as soon as possible. Yeah, we should. All right, let's go back and give it to her. Here's Karen again. <clears throat> so let's give it to her. Co, did you? Well, I did not mean to bump into that. That was probably very loud. I just bumped into my desk. I do apologize for that. Yeah, I found it. Here you go. A mental strap to Karen. Oh my god. This is it. Where did you find it? Um, I kind of just came across it while poking around the shopping street. I'm just glad I found it. Thank you, Ko. Thank you so much. I'm so happy I could kiss you. Kiss away, girl. Kiss away. Uh, stop. Anyway, just try to keep it safe from now on. Don't lose it again, okay? <laughs> yeah, I won't. Thank you so much. You have my gratitude. -tude. Where in the H-E double toothpicks did that come from? What? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Daddy's keepsake completed. 600 gems as well, and virtue raised. All right, let's get started on the affinity events. Let's go. All right, first one we are doing is over here, Asuka. Maybe we could, we should see how this compares to the incident yesterday at Nanahoshima. I'll go back to our club room and check our records. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Hey, what's up with your leg? My leg? Oh! Blood is dripping from a small wound on Asuka's leg. Something must have nicked me at the eclipse earlier. Are you okay? I'm fine. I didn't even feel it. I'll just use a healing spell later. Thanks for your hard work earlier. I'll contact you if anything else comes up. I don't think I should leave. Just leave her when she's like this. Stay with her. Hey, I'll go with you to the school. We should have the nurse take a look at your leg. Oh, it's fine. Like I said, I can't even... Just to be safe, alright? Spells are good and all, but you're no expert on treating wounds. Let's go. Uh... Hey, at least he cares about you. He returns to school, and Miss Keiko takes care of the wound. You've got a cut, but it's nothing to worry about. It just needs a little disinfectant and a bandage, and it'll heal up in no time. Oh, cool. I told you so, didn't I? <laughs> There's a first aid kit in the cupboard. Nurse is up to you, Tokisaka. Huh? Sorry, but I have a faculty meeting. Just give it a good wipe and wrap it up. Easy done. Good luck. Uh, Ma'am? And she's off. <laughs> uh, what is that first aid kit? Tokisaka? It's fine. Just stay seated. <laughs> Aw, Asuka's adorable. <laughs> this is weird. What is? situation that has you eyeballing my legs. No funny business down there. Got it? Uh, I can't stare or anything. <laughs> Sorry, did that sting? I'm almost done. It's fine. You seem pretty good at this, Tokisaka. Could it be that I'm not the first girl who's had her legs handled by you? Can you stop? It's nothing like that. I was just in a dojo when I was younger, so stuff like this was daily occurrence. Patching up a boy, patching up a girl, no big difference, really. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> now what? Nothing, I was just remembering something. When I was little, my parents did this for me. <laughs> oh yeah? You know, you've changed, Hiragi. A little go, you never let anyone do this for you. 
<laughs> Maybe. It's more like I was able to change, though. Since coming to Morimiya City, I've met a lot of people. It's thanks to you guys that I'm me now. Well, for my part, I've been with you the longest when it comes to Eclipse stuff. And I trust you. I know you'll watch my back. That's how I feel, anyway. <laughs> Why are you always like this? It's not such a bad thing, though. Hmm? You say something? No, nothing. <laughs> Aww, look at that little <laughs> makeshift. Okay, all done. Does this still hurt? Not at all. Thank you. There will be many obstacles to overcome and difficulties awaiting us. As, a members, as members of the XRC, let's do our best. Yeah. That was a nice cute scene. Asuka got stronger. Oh, so close! Come on, just give me it! <sighs> Alright, next one up, Shiori. Mm -hmm. Hey Shiori, you haven't gone home yet? Oh, come. When did you... What's wrong? We're totally spaced out there. It's nothing. You don't have to worry about me. Don't you have work today? And you just started your club? Don't overdo it, okay? Sure. Nothing, huh? Sure. Stay with her, obviously. Hey, how how long have we been friends again, Shuri? I know, it's not nothing. Uh, there's no way you can hide something from me. If something's bothering you, I can help. Please, talk to me. <laughs> You're right as always. I suppose I was being a little distant. Alright, what's wrong, Shuri? Tell me. <laughs> Tell Papa Ko! To tell you the truth, someone called me out here. I was sent a love letter. Uh, what? Why that? What is that reaction? <laughs> Even you're surprised, huh? You're, you're really cute! How is that a surprise? I certainly never thought I'd get anything like this. You're adorable. What? And you're so nice. What? How did you? Mm. Well, it's just. <clears throat> so, who's it from? A boy from the class next door. We pass each other in the hall a few times. He's tall, plays on the soccer team. Sound familiar? Tall and plays soccer. I can't remember his name, but I think I know the guy. All the girls sure think. Sure seem to think he's a looker. <laughs> well, we've barely spoken. There's something I want to say to you. So if you have a sec, please meet me on the roof. That's what the letter said. Mm. I don't know if that's tie for old-fashioned. I mean, who writes a love letter nowadays? But who would have guessed? Cool? Uh, it's nothing. <laughs> I was just thinking, it's about time you started dating. Well, good for you. He seems like an okay guy. Don't make the decision for her. Let her decide what. Go. Sorry for saying you'd be single forever at the hot springs the other day. <laughs> no worries. I didn't take it too seriously. Well, I guess I should make my exit. I don't want to get in the way of romance. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping you'd stay and um, keep an eye on things from somewhere out of sight. Huh? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you were nearby. Oh, okay. I can do that. So we're just gonna spy. After a while, the boy from the class next door appeared. I had him watch from a discreet distance away. Now that's the guy. Like, he wouldn't notice you just standing there. Hmm. I seem to be hitting things off. The guy's pretty popular with the girls. I would worry he'd be a bit of a player, but considering he picked Shiori, he must have some decency. <laughs> well, I guess it had to happen sometime. It's just hard to imagine since we've always been together. I should be happy for her, as her friend. Do you have feelings for her? <sighs> as my head's telling me anyway. 
My heart doesn't agree. Uh. Huh? Shorty? Huh? Come. What did you do to Shiori? Or did you say something terrible to her? N no, I... Hold on, go. Calm down. How am I supposed to stay calm? Listen, buddy. I don't care how popular you are. If you make Shiori cry, I'll make you pay. Go! Jeez. I told you to just calm down. Completely misunderstood. You didn't make me cry. Uh, uh, cool. I just got dust in my eye. He was worried about me. He didn't do anything. <laughs> you heard the lady. So, uh, no reason to make me pay, okay? You're Tokisaga, right? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, my bad, dude. Uh, sorry, no, I was totally out of line. I made a mistake and buttered in and made a complete fool out of myself. Anyway, I'll uh, just be going somewhere else to die of embarrassment. <laughs> I never stood a chance, huh? Um... Well, Kurashiki, if you excuse me. Sorry for making you come up here. It's okay. Thank you for telling me how you feel. <laughs> See you around. He got utterly rejected. So Shiori does love Ko. Uh... Oi! Shiori? Omae masaka... It's voice acted, huh? Oh, I would imagine. Hmm? So she likes you. <laughs> Look after your love life first in your life. What? <laughs> Shiori, you're too good for yourself. <laughs> if anyone's desperate enough, wow, Shiori, thank you. <sighs> there goes my hopes and dreams. To hide in the bushes, I can only imagine her just in the bushes, just peeping her little head out like, better not be Florua Koei, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. That's right, you know, in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> like her. So is this like the flagship, the 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 one that's gonna set sail? Is this the one? Because it was voice acted. Your bond with Shuri got stronger. Okay. And a friend page updated. Okay. So I keep going for events. Oh, we got a voicemail from Shiori. Received a message card from Shiori. What? Aww. That is adorable. About message cards. After important friendship episodes, you will receive a message card from the featured character. Having a message card near the end of the story will trigger a special event. Okay. You can have a number of message cards in your possession, so be sure to get as many as possible. Oh, so this is like the friend, the cold steel thing. Friend page updated. What? She already, another one or? Oh, it has that little circle. That means I have the message, the, the message card for her, right? Okay. Still haven't gotten one for Asuka. Interesting. 
So I still need a little bit more for Asuka, Sora, uh, Mitsuki. I have none for Ryo. <laughs> Ignoring Ryota all this time. And yeah, poor Mint Muffin <laughs> June. Oh, next one up, Sora. Did you come here for practice, Sora? Yeah, I had club today, but they gave me permission. I'm going to have a match with Master Sosuke later. And XRC will finally be starting soon. I need to show the result of all my training lately. A match with Grandpa. Maybe I should tag along. Yep, stay with her. I know this episode might be long because uh, it's 51 minutes right now, so it might probably be an hour. So I usually don't have this many events. So I hope you know you enjoy this long episode for all the like 30 minutes episodes that I uploaded recently, like 30 on the dot. Well, if that's what you want. Why don't I tag along? You do some payback for me for the last time. <laughs> right. Let's work hard together. Okay, and just like that, I warm up a little and join it on practice. So I trust in all her martial arts skills and challenges Master Sosuke. Sosuke. And utter defeat. <sighs> <sighs> she doesn't stand a chance in hell. I thought Sora might be able to beat him if she went all out, but... <laughs> Willow submits to the wind and thrives. Today experience triumphs you, trumps you, however, it's obvious your movement and mobility have improved a great deal. Do to focus on your technique. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. Sora? Alright, it's your turn now, Ko. Go get changed. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get my ass whooped again. I just know it. I just feel it. Afterward, Gramps continue training with us. We all took a break once it became clear the two of us were getting tired. <sighs> Under the tree. This really brings me back. When we were little, we used to sit under the tree and talk after sparring. And didn't we used to compare our heights to on this tree? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Speaking of that... Oh crap. I still don't think I could beat him. The old fart is 70 years old. 70? Jesus Christ, it looks so young for 70. <laughs> Part of it's because he's old. I'm nowhere near as strong as he is either. Even my father, who is a master of his own right, has a hard time when sparring with him. Damn. Now I know he must be some kind of monster. Your dad's great at martial arts. That must be a huge hurdle to try to overcome. Hmm. What's wrong? No wait, did you get hurt or something? No, it's not that. Um, well, you see? Recently, I feel like I haven't really improved much, if at all. Really? Doesn't look like that to me. In fact, I know your skills have improved a lot. No, not really. I don't feel I'm getting any better during Karate Club or sparring here with your grandfather. Maybe... Maybe I've hit my limit as a martial artist. Don't say that. Limit? Come on, what are you talking about? I'm sure that you'll be able to do better. No, I'm sure of it. I don't think I've improved much, if at all, since coming to Tokyo. Once that entered my mind, I became even more nervous and afraid. Affecting my fighting even more. Sora. <laughs> you know, there's really no reason for you to be afraid. Huh? What you're feeling now has nothing to do with your dad or Gramps. It's all about you, right? I think that everyone who gets serious about martial arts training hits the same wall eventually. I give up before I even reach that point, though. To be honest, I'm kind of jealous of you. Hey, Sora, come here for a second. Oh, oh so it's small. Found it. You can barely see them now, but... Barely see them? I see them clearly, but okay. Remember this? Is this... This is where we make our marks to compare our heights. 
We were tiny back then. <laughs> we were so sure that we have to kneel down to look at them. Uh. I think what you're going through is the same thing. You're still first year. I doubt you consider that your limit from here on out, would you? <laughs> Thank you. I feel a little better now. Somewhere in all that is a hint on how to break through this wall. <laughs> I better put in some work or I won't be able to keep up. Let's do our best, Sora. Of course. That is so adorable, my heart. Oh, so cute. Afterwards, we returned to the dojo and went up against Sosuke again and again and again, ending up in defeat every time. Bond with Sora got started. So close! Just give me Soul 5! Just give it to me, please! Uh. Nope, we have Yuki here, so let's complete his event. Because I do have Mitsuki left. There's a few left. So, as you see, we have Goro, we have Mitsuki, and Yuki. We have Ryota, which we're gonna keep shafting him. And we have Shio Senpai. So I'm gonna decide to go with Yuki here, since Yuki and Mitsuki are in the same place. Might as well. Ugh. Go. If it isn't Yuki, what are you doing in a place like this? Ugh. People watching? Uh, it's no big deal, really. Hmm? Something's off. He's acting strange. Hang out with him. What's wrong, buddy? Yuki, what's bothering you? Come on, out with it. We're here to listen, you know? Ah, damn it. It's not like it's serious. Do you have to be so nose nosy? Ah, crap. Get down! Huh? His sister? Why are you following your sister, you creepo? So this is when it is. What? Hey, Yuki? What? Yuki, where are you going? Yuki started s skulking behind his sister Aoi for some unknown reason. And I reluctantly tagged along Yuki as curiosity got the best of me. Oh, he has a boyfriend? Why are you nosy? Why is that your business? Let her have a boyfriend. What is up with everyone today? Like being nosy in other people's relationships. Yeah, seems like it. So like she's been leaving work early so she could meet up with him. At least she checked off a day on her schedule she had on her computer so I thought that maybe. Oh my god. You hacked into her computer again? What part of privacy is so hard to understand? Shh, over there. That's her boyfriend? I feel this is gonna be a misunderstanding. Probably a colleague or something. Or a, you know, someone they're working together. Could that be always? Let's follow them. Hey, calm down. I feel they're gonna be like business partners or something or a new partnership. The cafe. It means nothing going to a cafe together. Yuki, please. Thomas Bar. The two of them went inside. They seemed close. I didn't expect that from Maui. Really? Come on. God, guys. Yeah, bingo. Of all the things she talks about, why did she tell me about this? Don't tell me. Are you actually jealous? <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen you act like a little brother. It's not like that. Ever since we were kids, Zoe has been a trouble magnet. She's so why says fair about everything that she always gets dragged into weird shit. Like the incident with the eclipse the other day, for example. Oh, I get it. You're you're worried about your sister. Whatever. Leave what you want. She's always so intent on taking care of me that she forgets to take care of herself. Honestly, she's a pain in the ass. It's nice knowing that she's finally out of my hair. No, you don't think that. He sounds like a broken-hearted child. Yep. Poor bastard. He's never going to be honest about his feelings, is he? Oh, they're coming out? Oh. Hey, what's with this note? I think the guy dropped it from earlier. 
It has a siphon number on it. Hmm. Let me see. This is. This is what? What? Oh, that cheap? Are you sure? <laughs> of course. Our clan is very motivated to contribute to the development of culture, Morimiya, and knew it. So, if I can have your signature right here. Stop! Huh? My god, what's wrong? Excuse us? Huh? You and Tokisaka? What are you doing here? <laughs> it's my little brother and one of his friends. <laughs> is that so? Boys, we're in the middle of something important, so could you not interfere? Oh yes, I'm sure you don't want to be interrupted right now. By the looks of it, you're trying to get a business deal signed and sealed, yes? <laughs> huh? How did you know? I didn't tell you about it because... It's for my work with the art museum. I picked up a note in the front of the store earlier. It looked like an ordinary memo with someone's contact information. In the same vein, an IAR is flooded with talk about an incident that happened in Tokyo. Something about a con artist selling fake art to museums. To area museums. Short version? This guy is a lying douchebag. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? What proof do you have of that? Well, you don't. We don't have any physical evidence, but all of your contact info on that note was for museums that you got screwed by you. They got screwed by you. Oh. All that's left is to go through the witness accounts online. I'm sure we'll find your description. I think there's more than enough circumstantial evidence. A police car? Oh yeah. We've already passed on all our info to the cops. Once they're done with their investigation, I'm sure they'll uncover all sorts of skeletons. Who in the hell are you two? Damn it. I could've got away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> that is hilarious. They did a Scooby-Doo reference. I know they didn't say meddling kids, but still. Yo. Aren't you pushing him a little too hard? Time wasn't on our side. Let's see the rest of the cops. Master's going to regret trying to calm my family. <laughs> Jeez. You, Tokisaka. Aww. Whoops. Owie. I don't know what's going on. But I do know that the two of you saved me. Thank you so much. All right, just get off me. You're always like this. <laughs> Looks like this case is closed. That's cute. Afterwards, so he thanked us with some coffee and cake. And Bound when Yuki got stronger. Level four. He just got to level four. Oh my god. Damn, I've been spending a lot of time with the others. Friend page updated. All right, let's go back to Akros Tower. All right, and last but not least, Mitsuki. I'm plenty checking with all the business within the tower. Kyoka is busy with other matters, so I must pick up the slack. <clears throat> Wait, you're not going to go around every floor of the tower, are you? Hold on, why are you in the first place has to do this? Why are you the one who has to do this in the first place? English is hard, boys and girls. I suppose I didn't explain it clearly. The Hokuto group is in charge at Akros Tower. I'm acting as a representative for my father when I'm not busy with schoolwork. <clears throat> no matter how often I hear what she does, I'm always impressed. But isn't this a bit too much for one person to go around the whole tower? To tell the truth, I was planning to only stop by the biggest businesses. I need to write a business proposal for a special event that's planned for the summer. I may have joined the XRC, but I cannot abandon my other work. <laughs> well, that's quite a lot. I wish there was some way I could help her out. Stay with her? Duh. Can I help out with something, Mitsuki? The XRC is in meeting today, and I have time for my part-time job. Tokisaka. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm just looking for honest opinions from a high school student from this proposal. 
It'll be a lot of work, but if you don't mind, come with me. Aw, spending time. Look at her eyes, so cute. We'll explore various floors of the tower. While she speaks with major businesses, I offer my opinion when I can. As business concludes, we arrive at the boom platform. And we're just gonna chill here at the cafe. Pretty good spot to just chill. <sighs> that was a lot of work. Good work, Tokisaka. Mm, it seems like it took longer than usual, though. <laughs> Even though we did check, we did the main facilities, there were a heck of a lot of floors. I'm happy to have helped, even if only a little. And thanks to you, I was able to gather a lot of valuable feedback. I'll definitely be using it all when putting together my next proposal. <laughs> I'll put in a hell of a lot of work, but she just shrugs it off. Pretty much as expected. Oh, by the way. Hmm? This is a really good view. Wow. The view from here is spectacular. I think you're more of a view. I rarely come here for anything but work. There aren't any a lot of places you can go to to see the entire city like this. I usually avoid crowded places, that, but I actually like coming here. <laughs> me too. That and coming here makes me realize a number of things even more. For example, the gravity of the situation we find ourselves in. Protecting, huh? You moved to Morimiya when you were in middle school, right? Yes, there weren't any paranormal phenomena at the time, but Zodiac had an opening nonetheless. I was hired almost more as an apprentice than an employee. My father had also mysterious connections to a number of interesting people. Yeah, my grandfather is an old friend apparently. <laughs> I take it you met with him yesterday. Yeah, but only long enough to say hi. His presence tends to be overwhelming though. It's like his aura is a physical thing. <laughs> He definitely holds himself and others to a very high standard, but he does care about his family. Yesterday, he was at my house and he seemed to be worried about something. Also, he in addition to Kyoka secretly helped me fight, helped me behind the scenes all the time. Especially since I lost my parents during the incident 10 years ago. Oh, that happened to you too? <laughs> Perhaps me and Hiragi have more in common than I thought. Aww. My parents were the eldest couple of the Hokuto family and the heirs apparent to the family holdings. While they were always, always extremely busy, they never de neglected to spend time with family. Even as a child, I felt truly blessed to have such wonderful caring parents. But while they were abroad on a business trip, they got caught up in disaster. It also marks the beginning of the Hokuto group's involvement in all of this. Mm. I would imagine. So that's what happened. After I was orphaned, my grandfather and Kyoka were always there to support me. That's why I'm always pushing myself to work hard, to try and pay them back for their kindness. Not only as a member of Zodiac, but now part of the XRZ. So that's how Mitsuki got started with all this. <laughs> My apologies. It seems I've put a damper on the mood here. I normally try to refrain from speaking of such personal matters, but... No, I'm actually glad you told me all this. After all, we're not here just to be supported by you. We're here to for you as well. <laughs> Thanks. Let's support each other and protect the city together. Seriously, let's do this together, Tokisaka. Yes. That was so adorable. I love it. Your bond with Mitsuki got stronger. Oh wow, I'm pretty far from five. And a friend page update. Alright, but I'm going to leave things here because, uh... Been a long episode. This has been a pretty long episode. 
So I'm gonna leave that here. And can I, nope, I can't do that. I was trying to get the camera to look from the outside. Anyway, here behind, beside our little kitty cat Mitsuki, we're gonna end this episode. I hope you enjoyed the long episode today. I just wanted to get out of the way all these events and all the quests. So next episode can be focused on the story. And going to Ko's room. I completely forgot about that. Ko's room and the skate park. I have to check the skate park and Ko's room. I hope I don't forget. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links are in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.